12 Cancer Symptoms You Are Not Aware Of Want to hear a troubling statistic? Did you know that cancer is responsible for about 10 million deaths in the year 2020? But it doesn't have to be this way, and many deaths could be prevented by early detection and treatment. Knowing the signs and symptoms of cancer can help you with early detection of the disease when it is most treatable and allows you to begin a new chapter in your life with hope and happiness. So let's talk about the 12 cancer symptoms that you should be aware of. Remember, noticing one or more of these symptoms doesn't mean you have cancer, but if they persist, you should go for a checkup. Number one, pain. Persistent pain is one of the main warning signs. Pain can be due to a multitude of reasons that may not be cancer. However, if the constant pain does not subside even after taking medication, you should go for a checkup. Cancers such as bone cancer are pretty painful. Brain tumors also cause severe headaches. Pain in cancer is caused by multiple reasons, such as a tumor pushing on other parts of the body, the tumor spreading to other areas, metastasis, and releasing toxic chemicals. If you experience persistent pain and cannot figure out the source or reason, it is advisable to see your doctor immediately. Number two, weight loss. Weight loss without working out or decreasing appetite is what we all wish for, right? Losing a few inches or pounds is normal, but it might be an alarming situation if you experience significant weight loss. According to the American Cancer Society, unexplained weight loss of 10 pounds or more could be one of the early signs of cancer. It is because infected cells demand more energy than healthy cells, so your body burns more calories even if you are at rest, contributing to weight loss. Number three, fatigue. If you feel exhausted and drained even after taking the test, it is a red flag. Normal fatigue and exhaustion after a long day at work are fine, but the constant fatigue that does not subside with time is risky. Cancers such as leukemia and lymphoma wear out the individual. Fatigue also results due to stomach cancer or blood loss from the colon. Cancer causes fatigue as it uses your body's nutrients for the growth of the tumor. Hence, your body fails to get vital nutrients to replenish itself, leading to energy deprivation and tiredness. Number four, fever. Fever is mainly caused by colds or flu and goes away after a week. If you experience recurring fever for more than three days without any reason, it could be a warning sign. If you experience fever usually at night, have a recurring fever that does not go away, suffer from frequent night sweats, and have a fever without any known cause of infection, then your fever may be a sign of cancer. Blood cancers, such as lymphoma, cause fever that lasts for days and weeks. Number five, skin changes. Changes in the skin also provide clues to the onset of cancer. If you notice unusual new moles, bumps, or marks on your body, then visit your doctor as soon as possible. If your skin is darkened, looks yellow, itches a lot, or has more hair than usual, then it could be a visible sign of ovarian, liver, or kidney cancer. If you have a birthmark or moles and notice a change in them, consider the mnemonic A, B, C, D, E to find out the reason. A stands for asymmetry, in which your mole becomes asymmetrical, i.e. one half of the mole looks utterly different from the other. B stands for the border in which the corners or edges of the mole are blurry. C stands for the color in which the color varies and you spot a black or brown mole. D stands for diameter in which the mole grows bigger than the size of the pencil eraser. E stands for evolving in which the mole grows over time and starts to bleed. If you experience lumps, bumps on your breast, changes in breast shape and nipples, or irregular nipple discharge, such as blood, it may be a sign of breast cancer. If you have any of the signs and symptoms mentioned above, consult your doctor immediately. Number six, unusual bleeding. If you experience bleeding in unusual areas, it might be a severe sign of cancer. Cancers such as rectal or colon cancer cause blood in the stool. Tumors on your urinary tract also cause blood in your urine. Irregular periods and pain can also be a cause of cancer. Many women experience irregular periods in their lifetime. However, if you witness irregular periods and consistent pain, it might be a possible sign of cervical, uterine, or ovarian cancer. Persistent postmenopausal bleeding is also a sign of ovarian cancer. Some women also experience irregular bleeding postmenstruation. 
If you experience vaginal bleeding after menstruating for days, consult your doctor. We've made it halfway through our list, and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed it so far. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and ring the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. Let's move forward with the video. Number 7. Oral Changes Oral sores, lesions, and bumps are the most painful symptoms of cancer. Some people notice persistent white and red spots on their tonsils, gums, and mouth. People who smoke heavily, chew tobacco regularly, or drink abundant alcohol are at risk of developing oral cancer. If your saliva is tinged with blood and you spot blood in your mucus, it might signify head or neck cancer. Number 8. Chronic Cough If you experience chronic coughing for more than two weeks without any reason, it might be a sign of lung cancer, as the cancerous cells obstruct the airways in the lungs, making you cough. If your voice becomes hoarse for a long time, it could be a cancer of the larynx or voice box. If it becomes difficult for you to swallow food for more than two weeks, it could be an indication of stomach, throat, esophageal, or lung cancer. Number 9. Changes in Bathroom Habits If you experience persistent constipation or diarrhea, it might be a sign of prostate, colon, or bladder cancer. Other cancer signs include blood in stool or urine, black stool, and frequent urination. Fluid intake issues usually cause irregular changes in bowel habits. However, some people experience bowel movements even after they have done the deed. If this occurs for a few days and is not related to dietary changes, then it is advisable to consult your doctor. Number 10. Excessive Bruising Blood cancers are usually diagnosed by the formation of a large bruise on your body without any cause. If you bruise your shin after bumping into a table, it is nothing to worry about. However, if you suddenly notice bruise formation on different parts of the body without bumping into anything, this might be a sign of blood cancer. Number 11. Excessive Bloating Bloating after eating spicy food or working out is fine. Still, if you experience consistent bloating for more than two weeks, it may be an ovarian or gastrointestinal cancer. Bloating happens due to fluid accumulation in the abdomen caused by the growth of the tumor. If you notice visible swelling on your stomach, chances are this might be an indication of cancer. Number 12. Anemia Anemia results due to a lack of red blood cells in the body. Red blood cells are formed in the bone marrow, and any issue with the marrow can lead to inadequate red blood cell formation. Cancers, such as lymphoma and leukemia, cause inflammation and damage the bone marrow. Bowel cancer causes iron deficiency, which leads to anemia. As a result, the person experiences yellowish skin and a decline in blood levels. If you experience any of the signs and symptoms mentioned above, you should immediately contact your doctor, who will run a diagnosis on you. It is always advisable to go for a screening test to find out the potential reasons and see if you are suffering from a common disease or cancer. Taking preventive measures and early screening helps fight cancer and prevents the person from getting seriously ill. And if you are diagnosed with cancer, don't lose hope. With proper treatment and the will to live, you can get better in no time. Do you find this video informative or helpful? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Don't forget to like and share. Stay healthy!